One of the greatest myths has to do with the SAT. The double 800, the SAT verbal, SAT math, is not a guarantee that you get into college or that you get into the dream school. It very well may be a guarantee that you will get into somewhere, but it isn't necessarily keys to the kingdom of your dream school. It very well may be the case that you're applying to a school where SATs are the baseline. You might also be applying to a school such as Reed where SATs are not the baseline. If that's the case, if you're applying to Reed, it's shiny. That's kind of how we refer to them. They're shiny scores. They're beautiful. Congratulations. You've done well to take that test. You might be merit aid scholar. Fantastic. The reality is that when you're applying to a school like Reed, who does not put everything on the SAT, who uses the SAT as more of a diagnostic rather than a litmus test, then all of a sudden the game changes. So instead of seeing the double eight hundreds and saying, oh, we have to take this student, we see the double eight hundred and say, okay, what else? That's one of the biggest myths and kind of misconceptions about the college process in general. Another similar kind of misconception is that going to a small liberal arts school means that you're going to have the fuzziest degree ever. <laughs> One of the things that is surprising to most people about Reed College is that our rigor is in the math and sciences. Most people don't realize that, yes, we have a HUM 110 program or humanities program. You can't major in humanities. If you want to take physics, you can take physics. It's impressive, a program. We have a nuclear reactor on campus. It's the only nuclear reactor run by undergraduates in the world. This is the kind of rigor that Reed students are expected to be performing in and on that level. That said, we've got a great performing arts program. You can major in dance. You could major in theater. You could major in English, creative writing. We're one of the few undergraduate programs that has an undergraduate degree in creative writing. But it's not a warm, soft, fuzzy, cuddly kind of degree. It's not an easy degree. When you look at small liberal arts colleges, they generally are rigor oriented. They're not necessarily easy. So when you're thinking of degrees, don't be surprised that the school that doesn't have an engineering program actually has engineering classes. And don't be surprised that if you're really interested in computer science, that maybe it's actually mathematics that you're more interested in. And ultimately, if what you're really thinking about in terms of a college career is something that's much more like that home feeling that you had at Campbell Hall, then one of the things you might want to consider is what was it about Campbell Hall that really made you feel at home? Was it the academic rigor? Was it the social network? Was it the athletics? If the answer to one or to that question was all three, then small liberal arts colleges tend to be a great fit.